you see the dog back there? Look how he lays down. <laughs> like, does that hurt his hips? I don't know. Okay, welcome, welcome. If you're here, let me know with hashtag live. If you're here later, hashtag replay. If you, I don't even know if this volume's working because I switched cameras. So if this doesn't work, I'll do it again later with the volume. I know I'm loud enough. You should be able to hear me in life. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, I have a quote to share with you today, and it's from Nora Ephron, and it says, above all, be the heroine of your life, not the victim, and so I kind of chuckled at that because it's heroine with an E at the end, an E at the end of it, so it, it did mean the drug. It meant be the heroine of your own life. And I took that into a different perspective and thought, you know what? Why aren't we our own drug dealers? Like, why aren't we just sharing life and raising our dopamine levels on our own? Either we're running towards pleasure or away from pain right? And so a lot of times in life when things happen, so when you see somebody who is literally addicted to something, it can be addicted to, um, because any addiction isn't good, right? No matter what it is, they can be addicted to food, they can be addicted to drugs, drinking, um, inappropriate activities, uh, anything like that. And so when they're addicted to something, it's really to cover up or for them to deal with and run away from the pain and towards pleasure, right? And so, because it's uncomfortable. And so that really is, so our trauma or something that we've had happen in our life is a way of triggering this response, which is running towards pleasure, which is having an addiction to cover up and running away from the pain. And so, that's where the dopamine comes in. And I really was just thinking about if we could just deal with our crap, right? In the sense of work through this other crap that we've had happen to us, with us, for us, whatever, however you want to look at it. Something that's happened in our life that could have changed the trajectory of where you think you should be going or what your life was, or if you're looking at it like a lesson or however you're thinking of that situation. And if you can take that and then release your, like, deal with that and then find your happiness, which then running towards pleasure doesn't have to look like using your addiction, using the alcohol, using the drugs, using whatever you are using to cover up not dealing with those emotions or that trauma or that event or whatever that is for you, that challenge that you've had in life. And then being your own heroine, right? Yes. And I'm not talking the actual drug. I'm talking with the E at the end of it. Be your own, be your own hero. Be the hero of your journey, of your story. Get out there and share your story. Even if that is working through your emotions, if you have to just get in a room and say, look, I need somebody to listen to me and I just need to word vomit all over everybody. Do that. Get that out of there. Find somebody you can trust and talk to. Find somebody that if it's a psychiatrist, if it's a doctor, if it's a coach, if it's a counselor, anybody, if it's just a friend, or even if you just reach out, message me and you can say, look, I just need to word vomit and I just need to somebody to say it. Someone to see me say it or hear me say it or however you want that to look. You have to get that out of your body and out of your person because that's what will allow you to move towards more pleasure, right? Because when this your cells are holding that, that's creating the addiction. That's creating more of what you don't want. And so for you to get to where you want to be, you have to literally just purge that on out of there, right? We've talked about the brain dump and the, the dump of getting that out of your cells, out of your person, and then getting towards the pleasure that you want in your life. And now to get over to here, if you're masking that now, that's your addiction, which you are masking it. And I'm not talking about like your mask. I'm talking about like your whole mask, your whole person mask, your personality mask, your 
non-authentic self mask. Like you're put here to be authentic. You're not here to be on drugs, addicted to something, not, not living your best life. When we're, when we're brought here, we are brought with our highest intention and then things get muddied up. And then now you just have to literally break out of that shell, that mud, that thickness, that crap, whatever you want to call it. And you need to bust on out of that. And yeah, it's going to be uncomfortable. Yeah, you're going to feel naked. Yeah, you're going to feel exposed. Oh, I just got chills. Look. And it's temporary. It's so temporary. That that breakthrough can literally shoot you into where you're supposed to be in life. Your authentic self. And I'm not talking about like, so that's where your heroine with the E comes in. Like be the heroine, be your own be your own drug dealer. Like I live and laugh and I raise my vibration all the time. I am high on life. Literally. I said this to somebody yesterday. I am high all the time on life and in vibration. That's what I want for you. Is that what you want for you? And if not, you just have to figure out when you're ready. When are you ready? When is your pain enough to stop doing what you're doing to make a change if you want to keep going with your addiction you know what's going to stop you your liver health issues your family will leave money will leave things like that that is what when your pain will be enough for you to have to make a change so make deal with your crap so that you can be in charge of your life your person your authentic self, your energy, right? Your highest good, because here's the universe like, hey, this is what you should be doing. This is what you should be doing. You've got a whole cheering section that we can't even see. And you're over here like being a victim, being upset, holding on to this. You don't have to hold on to this. You don't have to carry that crap backpack all day, every day, okay? You can take it off. Let it go. Leave the crap pile right there. If someone else wants to pick it up, they can have it because it smells, right? And when it smells, it festers and other people can feel that and smell that around you. You don't have to bring that with you all day, every day. So my homework, my assignment for you is to look at where you are now and where do you want to be and find somebody to just share some information with today. That can be sharing a traumatic event, opening up, maybe starting a conversation that you've never had with somebody. Maybe if you have issues with family, sharing that information with them, just seeing how you feel. If somebody's already mad at you and you just need to get something out, I've mentioned this before, create a code word. Create a code word that says, I'm going to just say something and I don't need any feedback. I don't need any response. I just need to say it. Okay, whatever that code word is. And it could be like, hey, word vomit or hey, fubaruba, you know, whatever that is to you. Make it a funny word so that that person knows there's no judgment. I don't want any, I can't have any judgment. I just need to say what I'm going to say. I'm going to get it out there and we can just leave it there. And then that gives you, that's also a respectable way to ask for, let's process what is going to be said here. Okay. And maybe you just need to get it out. Maybe just, and then there it is. The trash man is going to come and pick it up. Okay. Your little backpack sitting there, you just drop it off and the garbage man picks it up and you never have to think about it again. So you get to start moving towards the pleasure in your life, which is whatever that looks like for you. Okay, that can be success, that can be happiness, that can be joy, that can just be waking up tomorrow without being addicted to whatever you're being addicted to, or that can just be clean slate because you have fubaruba back there with your family and, and no judgment. Now, if there is judgment, that's on them, okay? So you, you ask for that respect of, I just need to say what I need to say, and if they did not respect that, that's on them. That has nothing to do with you, but for your cleansing your healing your heart you need to get that out you need to express yourself you need to just share that information and get it out of there 
Okay. So I'm going to put a link to my calendar in here. If that's something that you do need, I, I am happy to support you in that word vomit, or even if you need your own food, Baruba and just say, look, I just need you to sit with me and hold that space for however long I'm here for that. So with that being said, I am doing a language class tonight in my free group, which is uh, empowering mindset for joy seekers. So I'll put the link to that down below as well. And I'd love for you to join us. We're going to talk about internal and external language a little more in depth for you to be your best self in how are you talking with the words to your mind and out of your mouth. So I will see you there tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, so you go be awesome. I love you. I'm putting that good little juju out there for you, and I will see you or talk to you again soon. Okay.